So who's ready for some pad work? I mean, you should always be ready for some pad work. Let's do some pad work. So today I'm going to show you another smoking pad workout that you can do during this year of the lockdown, which by the way, man, like we've been locked down since what, like March or something like that. If your hands aren't amazing by now, then you've been quarantining all wrong, but that's okay, man. Even if you've been slacking for most of the year, this exercise here, is going to get your hands in shape in like six to eight weeks. Guarantee it. Now I just want to mention real quick, because I know a lot of y'all got questions about this pad. This is the new Evans Real Feel Limited Edition Barney Beats Practice Pad. That's a mouthful, but, um, but it's a good one. Comes with these sticks. These are, the, these are actually just the, the rebound, select balance rebound 5A sticks, but special coating, special little paint job to match the pad. These, as far as I know, are available everywhere. So if you're in Canada, up here, you can get them at Long McQuaid. I know if you're in the Toronto area, Just Drums, just got a whole bunch of them in. If you're in the States, I'm sure Guitar Center, Sweetwater, all in places. If they don't have it, they will have it soon. So we're gonna work on this pad today. But this exercise that I'm gonna show you, it's all about control. And, um, well, actually, it's, it's mostly about control. So it's not so much about mastering the exercise as much as it is developing the mechanics involved in playing the exercise, because this is all stuff that you're going to be able to transfer over to the kit later on. So let's get into it. Let me show you what this thing is. It involves two things, the triplet and the five-stroke roll. There's two versions of the five-stroke roll that we're going to sort of weave in to this exercise, all right? So if you got your sticks in front of you, if you got your pad in front of you, follow me on this. First thing we're going to do is just play regular straight ahead triplets, right? One, two, three, four. Now, let's talk about the mechanics. Because if you're not putting any intent into this, then it's going to be pointless for you. When you play these, this is what I want you to do. Anything that involves accented notes and ghost notes, killer for finger control. All right? So what I want you to do is practice, not practice, but focus, focus on the quarter note pulse. One. To, to throughout this entire exercise, I want you to focus on these accents, this movement. One, two, three, four, uh, uh, three. All right, elbows are tucked in, and I'm kind of snapping them out at the wrist. A little bit of a German grip happening here, palms down. Easy like Sunday morning, man. I could do this all day. Nice and relaxed, all right? Now, what I want you to do is focus on keeping your ghost notes just a couple inches off the pad, all right? And snapping your accents from the top floor. Just like that, okay? That's gonna be important. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna play the first version of the um, the five stroke roll, and that is gonna be one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two like that. So it's the accented stroke and then the doubles. One two three four. One two three. Like that. So again, doubles. Your ceiling's right here with the doubles. Keep them right there, all right? And the accented strokes, snap them out.
just like that. And what we're going to do from here is we're just going to do a one bar flip. We're going to go back and forth between the triplet and that five stroke roll. So slow. You know what? Let me get some time going on here. That's good. This is uh, 110. So the exercise looks like this. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, All right, so again, while you're doing this, I really want you to concentrate on this. Those accents, those quarter note accents. Because this movement here, I don't want that to change. So regardless of whether you're doing the triplets or the five stroke, this movement here stays exactly the same. All right? One, two, three, four. Uh. Now the second variation of the five stroke roll we're just going to play it a little bit differently. Okay, we're going to take those two doubles and move them up a little bit closer to that initial accent. So instead of going da 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 is that my tempo? Let's try this one. Two, three, four. Uh, uh, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, four. Right? So this one, exact same thing as we did with the first exercise, one bar flip. One bar to triplets, and then this five stroke. One, two, three, four. All right, so exact same thing as the first exercise. Now when you're doing these, speed isn't important. This is something that I want to emphasize. Now, there's no need to try to work your way up to 200 beats per minute, it's pointless. All we're trying to do is develop control between the wrist and the fingers. That's it, this is all about this area right here. Okay, just wrist and fingers. So there's no need to get super crazy with the speed here. As a matter of fact, the fastest you'll ever need to go with this is 135 beats per minute, which sounds like this here. That's 135. This is about as fast as you need to go, all right? So let's go back to that first exercise. Let me show you what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, uh, uh.
That's that one. Let me show you the second one. One, two. One, two, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Right? That is plenty fast. I mean, you can go faster than that if you want, if you're trying to impress your date, if you're trying to get out of a traffic ticket, whatever you're trying to do. If you want to go faster, you can, but there's no need to do that. This tempo right here will develop plenty of control if you just sit right here, right? It's all about the mechanics, like I said off the top. You're not trying to sort of, you know, work your speed up so you can play this thing at super impressive speeds because all we're trying to do is make this applicable to the kit. Now, does it stop here? I mean, it can if you're a sucker, but if you're serious about developing your hands, you're going to take it a step further. This is what you can do. Combine all three of these. Just weave in and out of all of them. This is super cool for warming up before you hop on stage. It's great for just sitting in front of the TV and working the pad if you want, um, or just passing the time, like whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. But you can take these three and combine them, and this is what I do whenever I do these. Let me slow this thing down around 120. So I just play the triplet, and then I go to the first five stroke, and then the second five stroke. No rhyme or reason, I just go in and out of each one of them. That looks like this. Two, three, four, uh, just like this. Let me just speed this thing up so I can impress the kids in the back. Let's take it to, let's try 140. Let's try 140 on camera and see what it looks like. One, two, three, four, uh. So this is a fantastic exercise for keeping your control up or developing your control in the first place. Any exercise that involves accents and ghost notes, these are the types of, of um, exercises that you want to do to develop finger control because it's really all about dynamics, being able to play at this volume and at this volume at the same time. And before I let y'all get up out of here, I'm just going to give you one more tip for you advanced players out there. If you want to spice this one up a little bit more, what you can do is flam the accents while you're playing the triplets on the front, right? So instead of going like that, right, you can play them like, like that, right? Just flam those accents while you're doing the triplet and then follow it up with any one of the fives that you want to do. So there you go. It's another killer 
pad workout that you can do in your spare time. This is one of those simple ones that can produce really good results in a relatively short period of time. So take your time with it, have some fun with it. Drop a comment below, man. Let me know if you're going to be doing this one anytime soon. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. This is what we do here, man. This is the kind of information you get here on this channel. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know you had sticks in your hands at the time, but that's okay. Put them down. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. Pick up one of these pads. See you next video.